Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Um, take two. Yeah, take two. So we did this video yesterday. This was a Patreon exclusive. Again, you can join our Patreon family. And it's as little as $1 a month. Actually, less than that if you pay for a year in advance. It works out to $10.80. Uh, and we do do exclusive Patreon-only videos several times a week pretty much every single week over there and some deep dives and this one was very well received uh, it was it's always feels great when you bring something up and people say wow thanks for pointing that out I never saw that one I never knew that well it's about you know those lights getting turned on one by one and that's what we do when we're close with one another I do want to say a huge thank you to our newest Patreon uh, Zach, Zach, thank you for your support. It really does help keep us going because lately um, they've been taking us down one after the other after the other and, and that hurts and we're trying to get the information out to help people. So thank you, Zach. Thank you everyone for all your support in any way, shape or form. It goes a long way. Yeah, it, it could be that um, unless you're you know, going completely along with one of the party lines, you will not be able to cover anything um, political, exposing you know the true reality of the political system uh, on YT in the future. Because it does seem that as soon as we put them up, they're they're taking them down, um, and they've done this before. So you know, again, it, it's not unexpected. Uh, again, that's why we you know say, hey, join us over on Patreon, uh, or you could join us on Rumble as well. Um, the Patreon exclusives are only on Patreon, uh, but we are on Rumble. We're also on Brady and, and BitChute as well. And you have Biden to address the nation primetime speech Wednesday night. Yeah. You know, how is he going to put it? And which one's going to show up? Is, is it going to be the, the black eyed Biden, the red eyed Biden, the one with the big earlobes, the one with the short earlobes? Is it going to be the angry one, the one that's full of dementia? Is it going to be? I mean, which one is it going to be? There's there's like 10 of them now. I don't know, but if, if if they say one of them has fallen, then they all are out of a job. Well, that's true. That is true, because, yeah, they haven't been officially designated <laughs> or given numbers. Yes. Meanwhile, you have the uh, doctor to Biden, the presidential doctor there, saying that he just completed his 10th dose of Paxlovid this morning. Symptoms almost completely resolved. Pulse, blood pressure, respiratory rate, temperature, absolutely normal. Oxygen saturation continues to be excellent on room air. Lungs remain clear, and he's doing his duties. He's doing his presidential duties, they say. You know, whatever that is, I'm sure he's done a lot of duty. Oh, I'm sure he has done a lot of duty. I don't know. Is this just one big commercial for this thing, whatever is helping? Oh, Sir President. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, if you have to do the 10th dose of anything, it doesn't seem like it would be too effective, do you think? I mean, this whole era of, of Plague Upon the Land, Cindy and I have never had it once. Not once. And we wouldn't do anything that, that allopathic medicine says to do. It's just us. And maybe that's one of the reasons why we tend to not get sick like that. Uh, you know, it's just, <laughs> hello, it's the wake up call for humanity here. Uh, so in a private speech, J.D. Vance says the devil is real and he praises A.J. as a truth teller. Uh, but he's, he didn't say anything about the three Draco that are surrounding him, which, you know, really the Draco are the devil when you really look at it at a deeper level. Well, yes, I mean, the devil is real because he knows and he is um, kind of embodying one. Yeah, absolutely. He, you know, and, and a lot of people have caught his energy, too. They, they have seen through that. Meanwhile, the money is flowing in behind Kamala. Oh, yeah, $231 million in donations on the first day. The money is just flowing in, and they want to brag about it. They want, they want you to get mad at that is what they want. Because in case you haven't you know, realized this yet, yes, it has been an IQ test for the world and for the nation. An IQ test. Who in their right mind could think that her or JB makes any decisions? But then again... This goes way back. Yeah, this goes way, way back. And you know, we were warned by Eisenhower and Kennedy about the military-industrial complex and the takeover. But 
I think even that was still part of the plan because they understand we're coming to the end of an age. In fact, we've stepped out of that age. And what does that really mean? It means everything is going to be revealed. Only demons and, and dark, dark entities would be afraid of a new age that is not the dark age in which they control it. But that is, again, how the system works. Through massive inundation of fluoride in the water, through all the GMO foods, through, through all the spraying, uh, aluminum and barium, interfering with people's ability to really think clearly, then add on that all the microwaves that are frying people's brains, quite literally. This world is dumbed down, and unfortunately it's dumbed down to the point where they actually believe that these people actually make any big decisions. Mm, yeah, you know, it's the ones behind them, it's the ones that are puppeting them that are making the decisions. Um, they're telling them what decisions to make. We were having this discussion earlier about, you know, how, how much of these people's free will do they get to use? And well, they they definitely have to use within certain parameters of a certain vibration. And as long as they're behaving and doing that, well, they can continue on. So Kimberly Chadle went into the hearing there with the Con Congress and saying that she isn't going to resign. Well, she did resign. So, yeah, she she uh, is definitely one of the scapegoats. And will there be a lot of other scapegoats that come? The reality is, again, I don't think there's anything that we see that we're not supposed to see. It's how do we react to it? The system wants to, again, control through division. Order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. It's, it's their motto. They want to create chaos so they can rule through that chaos and be hidden by the chaos. So this tweet saying, now that we have the leaders of the Secret Service, FBI, and Homeland Security all de declined to testify in the House, uh, are they next? You know, this is part of what's going on. This is Pluto's return with the U.S. It's being remade. And we, you know, we were pointing this out again uh, six, seven years ago that this time period was going to be coming. It's all being revealed. You know, they'll put on their, their smiles, but it's hard to keep the act up. It's hard to keep that act up. Yay! I got to still do this another day. Another day? Another day of acting for the public? Ugh. She is exhausted. They're getting tired. They are getting tired. The system is tired. The system is, is about to collapse. People are, are saying, wait a minute, uh, that doesn't look like a normal flight pattern. No, it's never been a normal flight pattern. It, yeah, is this normal? Uh, somebody's having fun out there. You know, again, this is part of that great reveal. And, you know, Concerned Citizen has almost half a million people following him. Uh, half a million people following him and he put a tweet out saying that you know basically the sky's been spread sprayed like this now the last three years and it hadn't been before it hadn't been before where have you been you know I mean again yes he, he is doing a good thing for the most part but where have you been this has been going on for decades but it's even more than that this has been going on for thousands of years before, you know, Wilbur and Orville took their flight over at Kitty Hawk, this was still going on. And, you know, if you really look at it, you'll see depictions in, in paintings and stuff showing the skies, you know, looking like today. Now they're inserting this in movies so that we always thought this was normal. Well, it wasn't sprayed as much when we were kids, that's for sure. And at certain times, they have sprayed. And at certain times there have been these plagues that pop up and it goes back to the dark ages you could look to the justinian plagues with uh the emperor just justin <laughs> just the, we've covered this so many times it, it almost like flabbergasts me you know you you have these sightings of strange clouds you have sun dogs or what we're told are sun dogs and then you have people dropping down ill you know, 1500, 1600, 1700 years ago. It's even in the Bible. 
about you know angels you know doing things and then 50,000 people drop and 70,000 people drop this has been going on much longer than three years and you know as David says you know this is this is no CONS piracy theory there there aren't any left there really aren't any any left and, and they're even being declassified at such a rate that it's you know, mind-boggling, really, but hey, it's part of jumping into a new era, and I'll, I won't use the AGE word out there for anybody that's still under the fundamentalist, um, you know, psyop. <laughs> I know, it's it's definitely something that um, we have to consider because we live with it. I mean, you know, changing the makeup of the atmosphere, and it, it is, it's very much an anti-human agenda and, and that's really difficult to wrap your head around sometimes um, by a non-human force really important to recognize what is going on because there's too many people just racking their head up against a brick wall saying why are they doing this it's it's not humans doing it it's not humans it's it's other entities compelling humans to do it and it's awful it's just awful and we have to stand in our light stand in our power and do what we can do to not uh, support that system, that non-human agenda. Yeah, absolutely. And this was really um, very cool because this guy, uh, he, he basically jumps off cliffs like a big flying squirrel is, mm -hmm. is what he's like. I mean, this is insane. I'm bored with real Aladdin. Um, yeah, we were just saying, do you think this is blue screen? Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, but n apparently not. You know, he wingsuits off of cliffs with these. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's just exciting and, and fun uh, in so many ways. But not that I would do it, guys, because I wouldn't do it. It's not me. But anyway, the thing to realize is they want us excited. They want us irritated and aggravated. The reality is when the world, or at least a good percentage of the world, can look at things with a Buddhist detachment and not be caught up with the drama, recognize it for what it is. By the way, Jimmy Carter did pass on too. They're, they're leaving in droves at this point in time. They're all heading back to Mars, and I only say that half tongue-in-cheek. Um, it is true. You know, the, it, we have to view it as much as we get caught up in the emotions almost from a non-emotional standpoint because we, we certainly don't want to contribute to, to the things that this system represents. No, we got to be the peacemakers. So, you know, when you look at like the Beatitudes, they are beautiful. And yeah, blessed are the peacemakers like this old man saying, hey, you know, this kitty is in this neighborhood. We're walking by here. You're going to have to make friends with this kitty. And no, it, you know, if you don't like the kitty, it's okay. You can just simply, you know, just give him a little bit of a smile in the morning. Don't bark at him and, and just be along our way. Uh, again, humanity has to recognize we've been played. We've been played big time and they're still trying to play us. Yet the illusion is wearing off and this is a new era. This is a new time. And this is exposing. It's the apocalypse. So all their BS is being exposed. Mm -hmm. Times are changing. Things are getting better. We have to keep that positive mindset. Don't let yourself sink. Never underestimate the power of observation and standing back with that Buddhist detachment and watching what's going on. And, and practice it too. Pra practice it with the, with the news. If you're one that tends to get upset over something that might happen on the news or overly excited and exhaust your adrenal glands, then practice that Buddhist detachment with that. And, you know, work that into your own life if you're having stress. Work on that Buddhist detachment. It is a powerful, powerful tool. Absolutely. You know, so at this point in time, we need to be saying, hey, we're not going to be caught up in this drama. And for the more brilliant people out there than, than Cindy or myself, um, what are some solutions that you see for getting out of the system in a peaceful way? What, what would you do? What would you recommend? What are your thoughts? What should we be doing? 
I look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.